Hey everybody, welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Season 3, Episode 3. Uh, I'm going to do a countdown for you. 3, 2, 1, go. Um, should I change the, um... Should I change the thumbnails? That way it says S3 as opposed to P4. You know, Part 4. Because both are technically correct, I just don't know what people refer to this as. I'm still trying to get a handle on that. It seems like part four is correct enough that people are fine with it. But, you know, I want it to be easy for people who are trying to keep up with what's going on. Changing thumbnails is pretty easy. Um, and it doesn't do much to uh, YouTube's back end, really. It... They freeze on Krill in there for a little too long. It feels awkward. This is like such a... I don't know. All the other ones felt more... Um, you're about to die. Sort of like we're on an action-packed adventure. This one feels more like... If you immediately followed this up with just like... Slice of Life style comedy... Like, that intro would still work. It's not. The last bad guy was just a serial rapist and murderer, you know. Which is not something you usually have in slice of life comedies. So the photos were just a collection of awful people that are in the area. I'm a little confused on why those people were picked out. I have a feeling it's going to be explained if it already just wasn't. Like, surely he starved to death, right? Sure. You know what? It's a it's an anime. I shouldn't think about the physics of this too much. Like, there's also just like magic powers constantly. Okay, there we go. Did we hear this last time? No, we didn't hear that last time. Right? Like, I didn't just like space out. So why would you give this guy a, a stand? Why would you... You know what? He's a villain. Whatever. Why am I saying why? It's Jojo. It's Jojo is the answer to any why. Probably. I think it's the animation. I think it's the animation that like I'm not a fan of. Like There's something weird with the animation. I don't mind the flat colors. I think there's something stylistic about that, but I think it's the f animation doesn't feel quite right for some reason. That's a weird stand. I assume it's a stand. A stand to give stands.
God, that's going to hurt. Oh, okay, so... It's still in a glove, though, right? Apparently, this hair thing stops after a while. It's a cute thing for a while. Have you seen, like, have you actually looked up, like, the, the pompadours that, like, are, like, they go for, like, length rather than, like, density in Japan from the pictures I've seen. Like, they get really wispy at the end of the day, but holy shit. It's, it's wild to think about what styles exist like that. Wait. So this is the Lover's Rock, right? Like they talked about it last time that he, people come by there and and so he's too like he's super dead now. He's a really awesome metal rocker. He he died. It was really sad. He was super influential. Holy Diver fucking kids these days. Oh, he's still alive. That's fucked up and gross. Maybe it's the thickness of the lines. Maybe that's it. Like, there's a lot of, like, really wispy light lines that I feel like would work better if they're denser, thicker lines or just non-existent line work. Are you in the public library or are you in the school library? Does your school library actually have, like, death records and stuff like that? So is he, like... Is he a punk? Or is he, like, just a guy? Like, I, I don't know enough about, like... There's certain styles that I know to, like, essentially just mean, like, I don't know, delinquent as far as, like, any culture goes. You know, like, st studs on your vest or, like, patches or ripped clothing. Generally, like, that's a thing that people are like, oh, yeah, you know, that that's a thing that you are. But, like, I don't know what the pompadour means as far as, like, that cultural, like, is that a, a thing? And I don't mean to say delinquent just to sound like an old boomer, but, you know, someone's already commented, okay, boomer, in the comments. My point is, like, is that an indicator of that as much as, I don't know, like, a mohawk might be? Right?
Is adversarial possession a thing in Japan? How about you don't fuck with it? Oh, fuck. Krillin's dead. Oh, it's that guy. I've seen, like, plenty of memes about this guy. He turns into a good guy eventually, but he's an asshole now. Scars on your face. That's another one where it's like... You might be an asshole. You know, as far as media is concerned. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Ooh, this is going to be awkward. Ah. Uh. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. How old is she and how old was what's his name? Like, they look relatively close in age. How old is she? You could... You could explain this situation to her. Do you want to explain? Can you not be an asshole? Like, you're about to drop a bombshell on her fucking world. Can you do that? Don't tell her that! He's. Didn't he die? Classy, dude. Classy. Really just... The Joestar family just has a way with women, you know? Not a good way. Oh! Her! Right! She had a thing. I forgot about her. She was supposed to be the, the girl to, like, train you how to do things, right? Like, that's why she was Dio's right-hand man or whatever. His voice is, uh... Interesting. And he's dead. Yeah, you think you think the guy with the, the arrow earrings and the, the the creepy house and the bow and arrow might be a stand user?
wait a minute. They changed all these stand names, didn't they? And it's like less obvious than like Vanal Ice or whatever. What what are the actual names here? Oh, it actually might be the hand, because it sounded like that's what he said. I do like the utility of punching things and healing them wrong. I think that's super cool as an ability. Because you could be an asshole with that ability, you know? Like, you just heal people completely the fucking wrong all of the time. Like, you could be a bad guy. Healing abilities are always given to the good guy, you know? I'd love to see a healing ability given to just an asshole. Are y'all actually related? Also, why has everyone got that thing going on with their hair? Like, everyone has, like, little, like, spiny things going off the back of their head. Like, I understand a couple of people having it, but, you know, what? Don't punch his hand. That's a bad idea. Yeah. He's named the hand. His hand does something. Who knows what, but it does something. Luckily, I haven't had that spoiled for me yet. What did that do? No shit, the guy named The Hand? Is it that he kept trying to hit you with his right hand? This, yeah, just don't let it touch you. I don't know what the fuck it does, but don't, don't go near that. Wait, it said no trespassing. Oh, does he have a weird fucked up healing ability too? Probably best to stay away until you know. Uh-huh. Scraped away. Okay. So I guess it's sort of like healing things dumb, but different. God, I wouldn't know how to use that ability effectively. You could do some weird magic tricks with it, but aside from that... Oh, that's cool. That's neat. That's a cool use of that ability. It kind of sucks that it's limited to just his hand, which is probably his weak spot. You can never not be within his reach, but you can't be a... He can't walk away from your reach, necessarily. Could he cut the space between himself and nothing in order to get over there to that instead?
So he moved the plants? Or he just moved in the way of the plants that way when he sucked them in? Okay. I mean, fucked up, you could just, like... You should probably get your friend's body back first and foremost. You just need to get... God damn it, Krillin. Like, that's his purpose in this, right? Does he get an android girlfriend that he gets to fuck and then somehow that ends up having babies? God, this is a long-ass episode. I'm going to be doing um, three of them today, by the way. Um, it's a three-parter. It would be awkward to have one of them separated. So, uh, as per request, I'm going to do... Three parters when I can, and then if it's a one parter and there's a two parter immediately before and after it, I'll just do a one parter. Um, otherwise, I'll do two parters. You'll you'll know by the end of the episode whether or not I've decided how I've chopped it up. But generally speaking, you could expect at least two episodes every, uh, you know, Tuesday and Friday as per usual. But today is going to be a three part episode. So Dia got his stand from this bow. God, he's an ugly fuck. Also, I finally remember where I r knew the name Savage Garden. They're the uh they're that band that does like Walgreens core music. Where it's like the kind of music you would expect to be playing at a Walgreens at like three in the afternoon and you just need like I don't know a sharpie like you just you don't want to go all the way to like I don't know Michael's or whatever you don't want to go to Walmart you don't want to go to Target you just need a sharpie or like band-aids you know something weird but like not really important Whatever happened to Savage Garden? Easily confused for Sound Garden, which you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it and say that Sound Garden was better. Not a huge fan of either, to be honest. Like Black Hole Sun is great, sure, but like, you know, all right. Anyway, um, next episode should be up, so I will see you for that one. Uh, right about now. Just uh, make sure you're in that playlist. I'll see you later.